Hey guys and gals, Matt from soundrolling.com, and I thought I'd do a double upload today, um, just because the last one was kind of a viewer question, which might be useful to some, but I thought uh, more generic uh, content for you all would be more useful. So, we all know that uh, this is a shotgun, hopefully. I mean, if I told you it was a 416, most of us would uh, recognize that. Yeah. So the whole point of a shotgun is obviously um, this lovely interference pattern, as it's known. This is what all the slits are for, and that's basically um, kind of where all the rejection comes from. Um, so if you point it at something, um, then it tries to reject what's around. Now, the demo that I'm doing today is obviously oh, short shotguns versus long shotguns. I have a very long shotgun here. It's the 816, um, and just for uh, comparison. Um, it does have an adapter on. This is actually a T-powered version, so the mic actually starts from about here. Um, and just for triple comparison, um, this is where a 416 would be, and you can see that the 816 is a fair bit longer. Um, so wanted to basically do a video on this. Now, um, take everything in this video with a pinch of salt, um, because basically shotguns are not ideal for inside. Um, in most cases. Uh, the reason for that is the actual interference pattern. Um, while very useful and making it directional, um, the problem with that is that obviously all the sound is bouncing off all the walls, right? So then you can get some kind of weird kind of sound effects from that. So, or not, artifacts as they're known, um, very Indiana Jones. So what I'm gonna do is I'll actually un unplug this for now. I'll put, the uh, short shotgun on, the 416. Right now you're listening to the lovely Sherps MK41. We will basically do a test uh, where I walk about kind of two meters away. And um, yeah, to the other side of the room and you'll kind of hear me as I kind of go off. Um, and then we'll swap it and I'll do it with the long one and you can see how much kind of better it is. Um, so first, I guess, a kind of re rejection test, as it were. Um, so let me just monitor what I'm actually hearing. So now you're hearing uh, the 416. Uh, let me check. I've just got an 80 hertz high pass filter. I kind of do that all the time. And so if I keep talking, this is the kind of rejection of it. You're obviously hearing the rest of the room. And you can see that's a pretty tight pattern already. So pretty much everything. Um, up to about maybe, yeah, there's a there's a window of about 20% out of the whole probably circle uh, that kind of works. So I'm just gonna rest this kind of near the mount of my other one. And I've already roughly measured about two meters back. Um, so, uh, okay, and how I'm gonna base this is I'm gonna set the gain uh, because obviously the, the mics are kind of varying in power. Uh, I'm gonna set the gain uh, based on hitting around minus 20 between minus 20 and minus 12 while I'm talking here, as if it's set up for here, and then uh, see how far back we can go. Um, so yeah, we'll see how far. So if I keep talking, you can hear that now it gets obviously uh, kind of very, very roomy, and I sound like I'm two meters away, which is in fact the case. So now let's quickly swap over to the 816. Okay, and now I'm using the 816, um, and let's do a rejection test on this bad boy. Uh, it's, it's slightly heavy, so uh, my little terrible mount that I have for it is not that effective. Um, but yeah, if I kind of talk, then yeah, we pretty much lose things straight away. Uh, the angle has, has gone in by about this on each side. Um, so yeah, we're looking at a very, very sharp angle. If I just miss myself, uh, even slightly is starting to reject a lot. And obviously, full onto the sides, you're only hearing it bounce off the wall. Um, so now, let's do the same test. Kind of keeping it roughly in the same place as the short shotgun. Uh, just out of shot, or trying to be just out of shot. So we've got it just out of shot. This is how it sounds right now. Um, we're again between uh, minus 20 and minus 12. And now, as I walk back, uh, we should be hearing... Yeah, now we can kind of hear the difference. I guess the problem with the indoor scenario is that uh, it's it's kind of bouncing off all the walls. Um, but if I now play them back to back, yeah, we'll see how far. So if I keep talking, you can hear that now it gets obviously uh, kind of very, very roomy and I sound like I'm two meters away, which is in fact the case. 
So obviously the idea behind the kind of long shotgun versus the short shotgun is that you need to zone in even more. Um, so lots of these are used in kind of um, sports, um, possibly uh, kind of ambient noise capture, um, although you can get obviously specific things that are dedicated like parabolic reflectors for uh, birds and things like that. Um, so essentially if you need even more rejection um, then you just basically need a longer interference tube to kind of get everything away. Obviously these work perfectly um, in outdoor scenarios, not so much useful in indoor scenarios because the, the sound is bouncing off all these walls so quickly um, that, yeah, it's eventually going to get back into the exact same position as I'm kind of talking to it. Um, so yeah, so overall that is the kind of difference between the long and the short shotgun. Thought I'd give you an example of how it sounded. Um, here's the kind of best video YouTube thinks that you should watch next, and you can always click here to subscribe. So, till next time, get your comments down below, and I will see you later.